first. Mainland Lottery Incident Source, Yahoo News The chance is 1 in 20 billion. The topic of Jiangxi's 220 million lottery black box has spread, and even the front page of the New York Times mocked it. On December 2, 2023, a lottery player in Nanchang, Jiangxi spent 100,000 yuan to buy 50,000 Happy 8 lottery tickets with the same numbers on the Welfare Lottery website. After the lottery was drawn that night, all the lottery tickets he bought won, with a total prize of 220 million yuan. Subsequently, the entry spent 100,000 yuan to buy a lottery ticket and win 220 million yuan became a hot search, and even became the front page of the New York Times. It said that after AI calculation, the chance was only 1 in 20 billion, and the lottery once again stood on the front page. In the Vortex of Public Opinion Some netizens questioned the inside information, and the incident is still under investigation. According to reports from mainland Chinese media, in 2023, Chinese society's attention to lottery has increased significantly. For example, young people are keen on scratch-offs, lottery shops are very profitable and other news topics are constantly emerging. Part of the revenue from lottery sales will go into the central and local finances in the form of lottery public welfare funds which is also a type of government non-tax revenue. While lottery sales are growing rapidly, local governments are generally under pressure. These lottery public welfare funds, which are specially used for the construction of public welfare undertakings, are becoming an important financial source in public welfare fields such as pensions. Therefore, some netizens believe that the current financial difficulties, local governments deliberately emptying the lottery prize pool. The Chinese lottery is happy 8. The gameplay is that the amount of each bet is 2 yuan. You can choose any 7 numbers from a total of 80 numbers from 1 to 80 to bet. If the bet number is the same as any seven numbers in the current lottery numbers, that is, winning, the winning amount for a single bet is 10,000 yuan. If six numbers are won, the single bet bonus is 288 yuan, if five numbers are won, the single bet bonus is 28 yuan, if four numbers are won, the single bet bonus is 4 yuan, if all numbers are different, the single bet bonus is 2 yuan. On December 11, 2023, lawyer Yan Kuya from Jiangsu Feiduo law firm sent a lawyer's letter to the Jiangxi Provincial Department of Civil Affairs, hoping that the authorities would be transparent and provide clear information on the lottery player won 220 million yuan in prizes of 100,000 yuan. Reply The lawyer's letter contains the following questions. 1. Did the lottery winner purchase tens of thousands of yuan each time? 2. Does the winner buy the same number combination every time? 3. Does the winner make consecutive purchases? 4. How many issues has the winner purchased so far? 5. Is the lottery process open, fair, and legal and flawless? To this day, 
neither the Jiangxi Provincial Civil Affairs Department nor the Jiangxi Provincial Taxation Department has a clear response or a specific answer to this matter. Some netizens on Weibo ridiculed, the 220 million grand prize made the front page of the New York Times saying that the probability of winning is equivalent to taking apart a Rolex watch and throwing it into the Pacific Ocean, and then reassembling the watch under the action of the waves. Nothing is unexpected, only impossible. Source, The Epic Times Too many coincidences in Jiangxi China's 220 million yuan lottery jackpot raise questions. Recently, the news that one person spent nearly 100,000 yuan to buy lottery tickets and won more than 200 million yuan without paying taxes became a hot search topic and sparked heated discussions. Because the winner of this grand prize spent nearly NT$100,000 on the same winning number, he bet 50,000, and was suspected of purchasing tickets at different betting stations at similar times, raising public doubts about whether there was insider information in the lottery. On the evening of December 2, 2023, after the 2,023,322nd lottery draw of the China Welfare Lottery Happy 8 game, various betting stations in Zihu District, Nanchang successively shared the site's battle reports to the work group. Among them, two of the same numbers were selected, select seven out of seven. The picture of the lottery record, because the total winning amount is close to 500 million yuan, has aroused heated discussion and forwarding among group members. On December 5, 2023, the Quick 8 lottery jackpot of more than 220 million yuan was claimed in Nanchang, Jiangxi. According to multiple welfare lottery stores in Zihu district, Nanchang, these single-note Happy 8 winning lottery tickets were indeed purchased by the same lottery player at two local lottery stores, and they all chose 40, 41, 42, 44, 63, 64, 65 for this group of numbers. 49,250 bets and 50 bets were invested respectively, with the total cost of 98,600 yuan. According to the cover news report on the 6th, multiple verifications revealed that the two winning lottery tickets leaked after the lottery draw were purchased by two lottery buyers at two sites about 3 kilometers apart at a similar time. Among them, at 19 hours 26 minutes and 57 seconds on December 2, 2023, Select 7 bought 50 lottery tickets for 100 yuan, and the tickets were issued from a street betting station on Chaoyang Middle Road, Zihu District, Nanchang City, Station Number, 36013013. On the evening of December 2, the lottery player selected a number to buy a lottery ticket through WeChat payment, and then collected the ticket stub before the lottery draw. Under normal circumstances, this lottery ticket can be redeemed for a prize of 500,000 yuan. This time the bonus exceeded the limit and triggered risk control and it can only be redeemed for more than 220,000 yuan. A photo of a betting machine placing a bet of 49,250 yuan on Select 7 for 98,500 yuan.
The window display time is 19 hours 30 minutes and 13 seconds on December 2, 2023. It was taken at a betting station in Chengli Pedestrian Street, Donghu District, Nanchang City, Station Number, 36012177. However, in response to the public's doubts about the existence of inside information about the lottery, the Propaganda Department of Jiangxi Welfare Lottery Center responded that there is no inside information. Are the two lottery purchase records hotly debated among netizens by the same person? The Propaganda Department of the Jiangxi Provincial Welfare Lottery Center said that it will be available only after the bonuses are paid out. On December 6, 2023, a lottery shop owner in Donghu District, Nanchang City told the Daily Economic News that he had opened a lottery shop for more than 10 years and that a single bet of such a large amount was very rare. In addition, the owners of several lottery shops in Donghu and Zihu districts of Nanchang City said they had never encountered bets worth 100,000 yuan. The paper published a commentary on the 5th saying, you know, buying lottery tickets is all about luck and probability. Even if the lottery is 100,000, you basically have to choose a few more strings of numbers. After all, the probability of winning will be higher. The so-called spread widely net, catch more fish, this is the truth. I smashed a string of numbers with such precision, and actually won the super jackpot, which is somewhat incredible. Second Perfect Universe Source, ChatGPT The universe is an incredibly vast and complex place and what is considered a perfect universe may vary depending on one's perspective and definition. Scientists and philosophers have various ideas about the perfection of the universe. In physics and astronomy, some people believe that a perfect universe might mean completeness and stability of physical laws, a perfect universe may follow stable and clear physical laws that can explain various phenomena in the universe and predict future development. Harmony and symmetry of the universe Some scientists pursue theories that can explain various phenomena in the universe. These theories are simple, symmetrical, and unified and are applicable from microscopic particles to cosmic scales. Conditions for the existence of life Some people believe that a perfect universe may be one that can breed life and provide conditions that support the existence of life. This means having the right planet, chemical elements, climate, etc. In philosophy and religion, the view of a perfect universe may involve more thinking beyond the physical level, including purpose and meaning of the universe. For some philosophers and religious believers, a perfect universe may have a clear purpose and meaning. This may include the belief that there is some supernatural power or intelligence in the universe. Moral and ethical universe. Some views believe that a perfect universe may have a perfect moral and ethical order, so that justice, goodness, and fairness can prevail. In general, a perfect universe is a relative concept, because everyone may have different definitions of perfect and the universe. For scientists, philosophers, and believers, their exploration and pursuit of a perfect universe is a topic of ongoing exploration and discussion. 
Source, The Epic Times New Research, Perfect as a Coincidence, The Universe is Carefully Designed From a physical perspective, our universe appears to be a perfect coincidence. Even if some physical conditions and laws are slightly different from what we know, planets and even life in the universe cannot exist. Recently, a team of physicists tried to figure out the deeper reasons why life, the universe, and everything in it exists so perfectly. In the universe, everything from microscopic molecules, atoms, and smaller particles, to planets, galaxies, and even larger cosmic structures are all in order in terms of physical mechanisms. This also includes intelligent life like us humans. Scientists have discovered that only extremely precise and reasonable physical conditions can form what we see today in the universe. For example, there is a delicate balance between the energy in the universe and the accelerating expansion of the universe. As long as either party is slightly stronger, the excessive gravity may crush the universe into a giant black hole, or the excessive expansion may tear apart all matter in the universe. Another example is that the number of positive and negative charges in the universe happens to be roughly balanced. Electromagnetic repulsion also prevents the formation of common substances if there is too much of one charge. Another example is that at large scales, both electromagnetic force and gravity are exactly inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Scientists have discovered that even if there is a slight deviation, all the planets in the universe may cease to exist. This apparently near-perfect balance has led many scientists to suspect that it may all be the result of careful design tweaks. This fine-tuning necessitates that the physical properties and mechanisms of the system be matched or balanced in a precise way. Without these tweaks, the system would look very different or even break completely. So what exactly is going on with this fine-tuning? Is it really caused by so many coincidences and randomness, or is there a subtle design somewhere, and there is a mystery behind these seemingly coincidental mechanisms? At present, most scientists tend to have two views. One centered on the so-called anthropic principle, the idea that only a universe capable of producing thinking brains like ours could ask philosophical questions like why am I here? In other words, our universe may be just one of countless universes in the multiverse. Most universes do not have so many coincidences and therefore do not have intelligent life like us. However, our universe encounters many coincidences by chance and produces intelligence. Life Although this idea is interesting, there is currently no evidence that a multiverse may exist so this idea makes little scientific sense. Another view is that the universe is indeed the result of careful fine-tuning, and that these fine-tunings are governed by physical laws that we do not yet understand. Third, Physical Constants Source, ChatGPT Physical constants are fixed numerical values widely used in nature to describe the laws of nature. These constants are obtained through experimental measurements and are crucial for describing various phenomena and interactions in the universe. The following are several important physical constants. Speed of light speed proposed by Einstein in the theory of relativity, 
the speed of light in vacuum is 299,792,458 meters per second, usually expressed as c. This is the highest speed in the universe and is a fundamental constant in many physical calculations and equations. Planck's constant, expressed as h, is the basic constant describing the behavior of particles in quantum mechanics. It is closely related to the quantization of energy and wave particle duality. Gravitational constant, expressed as g, it describes the strength of universal gravitation. This constant plays a key role in Einstein's general theory of relativity, describing the properties of the gravitational field. Element charge, represents the smallest unit of charge, usually expressed as E. It is the basic unit of charge quantization and a very important constant in electromagnetism. Boltzmann's constant, expressed as K, it is closely related to the relationship between temperature and energy in thermodynamics and statistical physics. These constants, as well as many other physical constants, play a key role in scientific research and engineering applications. They are the basis for building physical models, predicting experimental results, and understanding the laws of nature. It is worth noting that sometimes scientists also explore whether there are fundamental constants that may vary, which may lead to a rethinking and understanding of the laws of nature. Source, Wikipedia Physical constants, also known as physical constants, physical constants, and natural constants, refer to numbers with fixed numerical values in physics. It differs from mathematical constants, which are fixed values that are not necessarily related to physical measurements. Under a strict definition, a physical constant has only a numerical value without a unit, and is just a pure number, such as the fine structure constant, while a physical constant has both, such as the speed of light in a vacuum. Since most physical quantities have units, dimensional constants whose dimension exponent is not zero are referred to as constants. Dimensionless constants whose dimension exponent is zero are referred to as constants. There are many physical constants, among which the more famous ones are the speed of light in vacuum, Planck's constant, gravitational constant, Boltzmann's constant and Avogadro's constant. They are assumed to be the same everywhere and at all times in the universe. There are many expressions of the physical meaning of physical constants. The Planck length represents the basic physical length, the speed of light in vacuum is the maximum speed in the universe, and the fine structure constant represents the interaction between electrons and photons, which is a dimensionless quantity. Beginning in 1937, Physicists such as Dirac began to realize that physical constants may change as the universe ages, but to this day there is no clear experimental evidence to prove this possibility proposed by Dirac. However, scientists have detected that some physical quantities may change by a very small amount every year and have set a possible upper limit for the magnitude of this change. The gravitational constant changes by about 1 0 superscript 1 superscript 1 per year. The fine structure constant changes by about 1 0 superscript 1 superscript 1 per year. Fourth. Products of the Universe. Source. 
ChatGPT. There are many kinds of products in the universe, which cover various substances and structures formed after billions of years of evolution starting from the Big Bang. Some major cosmic products include Stars and planets Stars are giant balls of gas in the universe that produce energy through nuclear fusion. Material interactions between stars promote the accumulation of interstellar matter to form planets and other celestial bodies. Planetary System A planetary system is a system composed of stars, planets, satellites, and other celestial bodies, such as our solar system. These objects orbit the star under its gravitational pull. Nebulae and interstellar matter Nebulae are large collections of gas and dust that form new stars and planets in the universe. Interstellar matter also includes various elements, molecules, and dust particles, which play an important role in the formation and life cycle of stars. Galaxies and Galaxy Clusters Galaxies are huge structures composed of stars, gas, dust, and black holes, while galaxy clusters are collections of hundreds or thousands of galaxies. Dark Matter and Dark Energy These two are the unknown components that make up most of the matter and energy in the universe. Dark matter plays an important gravitational role in the universe, and dark energy is one of the causes of the accelerated expansion of the universe. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation CMB This is the remaining microwave radiation after the Big Bang. It is regarded as a relic of the early evolution of the universe and provides important information on the early structure and properties of the universe. These cosmic products form the basis for our understanding of the evolution and structure of the universe. Their study helps us gain a deeper understanding of the nature, origin, and future development of the universe. Source, The Epic Times The universe is a product of consciousness. Science now believes that the universe was formed by a big explosion 13.82 billion years ago, but stories about God creating the world are spread among the world's ancient civilizations. A recent astronomy expert from Harvard University believes that the universe may have been created by high-level life. A few months ago, the famous American magazine Scientific American published a column that put forward the blockbuster theory that the universe may have been created by higher-level life. The author of this article, Avi Loeb, has a long history. He is the former chairman of the Department of Astronomy at Harvard University, director of the Black Hole Initiative at Harvard University, and the Institute for Theory and Computation at the Harvard Smith Center for Astrophysics. Director Loeb believes, our universe is a flat geometric space with zero net energy. The advanced civilizations that exist in the universe may have high technology. They create sub-universes out of thin air through quantum tunneling technology. In quantum mechanics, quantum tunneling means that if a small ball encounters an obstacle, if its own kinetic energy is insufficient, the microscopic particles still have a certain probability of being able to pass through the obstacle, just like passing through a wall technique, which is impossible in classical mechanics. Loeb believes that advanced intelligent life may understand the mysteries and thus have the ability to create subuniverses. Loeb also divided life into classes. 
Life that has the ability to create a new world is Class A life. Life that can transform its own living environment is Type B life. For example, it can survive by adjusting the environment of the Earth without relying on the Sun. Type C life forms are life forms like humans that live step by step in the space created by advanced beings. Type D beings are bad beings that do bad things. Loeb believes that humans will continue to do bad things, damage the Earth's environment, and may even degenerate into type D life forms. Therefore, in Loeb's view, human beings should humbly study the universe and find ways to improve the level of life, otherwise they will experience what happened to the dinosaurs, being destroyed once disaster strikes. Scientists have also discovered that the cosmic web is very similar to the brain's neuron system. In an article published in Scientific Reports, a subsidiary of Nature, in 2012, researchers from the University of California, San Diego found through computer simulation that as the universe grows, space and time also grow and are eventually linked to each other into a network. The same is true for the development of brain neuron cells. During the growth process, they slowly form a network and coordinate and balance many existing connected nodes and similar new nodes. In 2020, Astrophysicist Franco Vaza and neurosurgeon Alberto Felletti published research in Frontiers in Physics and discovered that the neural network and the cosmic network really work some of them account for about 25% of the total volume. For example, 77% of the brain is water, while dark matter accounts for 73% of the cosmic web. There are even more interesting findings. Varza and Ferretti found that the amount of computer data needed to model the universe was comparable to the theoretical memory storage limit of the human brain. Theoretically, humans could store a large portion of the structure of the observable universe in their brains. Alternatively, the cosmic web could theoretically store data about a human's lifetime experience. Here is a guess, does the universe actually exist in the brain of a certain high-level being? Taoists also say that the human body is a universe. Whatever is in the universe, the human body also corresponds to it. Is this very similar to the latest research theory? No wonder some people think, the end of science is theology. Fifth. Natural constants. Source, chat GPT. Natural constants are fixed numerical values that appear frequently in natural sciences and play a special role in mathematics physics, and other scientific fields. These constants are often related to natural laws, physical laws, or important relationships in mathematics. Here are some common constants of nature. Pi. Pi is an infinite non-repeating decimal that represents the ratio of a circle's circumference to its diameter. It is widely used in mathematics such as geometry, trigonometry, calculus, and other fields. The base e of the natural logarithm is an infinite non-recurring decimal, representing the base of the natural logarithm, which appears in the exponential function x in. It has important applications in fields such as calculus compound interest calculation, and probability. Planck's constant H, 
is a basic constant in quantum mechanics, which describes the quantization of energy and is closely related to the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics. Speed of light C, it is the propagation speed of light in vacuum and is also an important constant in the theory of relativity which reveals the constant nature of the speed of light. Gravity constant G, describes the strength of gravity and appears in Einstein's general theory of relativity. Boltzmann's constant K, important in thermodynamics, describing the relationship between temperature and energy. These natural constants play an important role in scientific research and engineering applications. They are basic components in describing natural laws and phenomena and are crucial for building physical models, predicting experimental results, and understanding the basic workings of nature. Source, Beidou Encyclopedia the natural constant, symbol E, is a constant in mathematics. It is an infinite non-repeating decimal and a transcendental number. Its value is approximately 2.718281828459050. It is the base of the natural logarithm function. It is sometimes called the Euler number. Named after the Swiss mathematician Euler, it also has the less common name Napier's constant, in honor of the introduction of logarithms by the Scottish mathematician John Napier. Like pi and the imaginary unit i, it is one of the most important constants in mathematics. Sixth, Paul Adrian Maurice Dirac. Source. Chat GPT. Paul Adrian Maurice Dirac was a British theoretical physicist who was born in Bristol, England in 1902 and died in 1984. He is recognized as one of the founders of quantum mechanics and quantum field theory, making significant contributions to the understanding of atomic structure and the properties of elementary particles. One of Dirac's most famous achievements is his 1928 formulation of the Dirac equation, which describes spin. One half of particles, such as electrons, and play a key role in describing the interaction between matter and antimatter. His Dirac equation combined quantum mechanics and relativity to provide an important framework for understanding the behavior of microscopic particles in nature. In addition to the Dirac equation, he also made other important contributions to quantum mechanics and quantum field theory, including research on quantum electrodynamics predicting the existence of antimatter, i.e., positrons, and so on. His achievements in physics earned him many honors, including the 1933 Nobel Prize in Physics, shared with Erwin Schrödinger for their contributions to the development of quantum mechanics. Dirac is known for his profound and unique way of thinking. His contributions had a profound impact on the development of modern physics and quantum mechanics, and he is widely regarded as one of the greatest theoretical physicists of the 20th century. Source, Wikipedia Paul Adrian Maurice Dirac, O.M., F.R.S., English, Paul Adrian Maurice Dirac, August 8th 1902 to October 20, 1984, also translated as Dirac, a British theoretical physicist, one of the founders of quantum mechanics, 
he held the Lucasian Professorship of Mathematics at Cambridge University and spent the last 14 years of his life at Florida State University. Dirac made many groundbreaking contributions to physics. He integrated Werner Heisenberg's matrix mechanics and Erwin Schrödinger's wave mechanics to develop the basic mathematical structure of quantum mechanics. The Dirac equation he gave can describe the physical behavior of fermions, explain the spin of particles, and first predict the existence of antiparticles. He also played a pioneering role in path integral and second quantization, laying an important foundation for the subsequent development of quantum electrodynamics. In addition, he introduced the concept of topology into physics and proposed the theory of magnetic monopoles. In 1933, Dirac and Schrödinger jointly won the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of new forms that are very useful in atomic theory, namely, the basic equations of quantum mechanics, Schrödinger's equation and Dirac's equation was the youngest award-winning theoretical physicist in history at the time. 7th Google 10, to the 100th power Source, ChatGPT Google, 10 to the 100th power, this value is often called Google and is a very huge number. In other words, it is a number of 1 followed by 100 zeros. This value is often used in mathematics and science to represent extremely large quantities, such as describing the number of atoms in the universe or the number of possible states of the universe in cosmology. This order of magnitude is far beyond the scope of our daily experience and understanding showing an extremely huge scale. Source, Daily Headlines The magical Google, a number unsurpassed by any amount of matter in the universe. The largest number does not exist in a mathematical sense. But there is a number. No quantity in the universe can exceed it. This number is 10 to the power of 100, also called Goggle, transliteration of Goggle. The fastest electronic computer in the world currently performs 1 billion, 10 to the 9th power, operations per second. Assuming that it has been operating since the formation of the universe, about 20 billion years ago, its total number of operations is not enough even today. 10 to the 100th power The area of the Earth is about 510 million square kilometers. If expressed in square millimeters, it is only 5 times 10 to the power of 20 square millimeters. The volume of the Earth is 10830000000000 cubic kilometers. If we express it in cubic millimeters, it is also only 10 to the power of 30. One cubic millimeter is equivalent to the size of the head of a pin. It can hold up to 10 grains of fine sand so the entire volume of the Earth can only hold 10 to the power of 31. These grains of fine sand. The numbers are far smaller than Gugol. Interstellar distance is generally measured in light years. One light year is the distance that light travels in one year which is about 9500000000000 kilometers. The range of space we can currently observe, about 10 billion light years, is measured in the smallest length unit angstrom, 
expressed as one millionth of a millimeter, it is only 10 to the 36th power of angstrom. The universe is the largest one among our research objects, and the atomic nucleus, its diameter is 10 minus 13 to 10 minus 12 centimeters, is the smallest one, and the size, linearity, comparison between these two research objects is a multiple of, which is only 10 to the 40th power. Talking about time, we choose the smallest unit of time with physical meaning to represent the longest time in the universe, the age of the universe. We take the time it takes for light to pass through a space as large as an atomic nucleus as the unit for calculating time. Then, the age of the universe is 10 to the 40th power of this unit. Let's calculate the total number of elementary particles that exist in the entire universe, including protons, neutrons, neutrinos, and photons without rest mass. Although a grain of dust contains billions of elementary particles, there are still many particles in the entire universe. A total of about 10 to the 80th power of elementary particles. This number is only 100 billion billionth of the Gugal. Eighth. Atom. Source, chat GPT. Atoms are the basic units of matter and make up all chemical elements. It is made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are at the center of the nucleus forming the nucleus of the atom, while electrons orbit the nucleus. Protons Protons are elementary particles with a positive charge, and their number determines the type of chemical element. In the nucleus, the number of protons determines the atomic number of the element. Neutrons Neutrons are electrically neutral elementary particles that are also found in the nucleus of an atom. The number of neutrons can affect isotopes of the same element, that is, atoms with the same number of protons but different numbers of neutrons. Electrons Electrons carry a negative charge and move in different orbits around the nucleus. Their number determines the chemical properties of the atom and whether the atom forms chemical bonds and participates in chemical reactions. The different characteristics and properties of an atom come from the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons it has and how they are arranged among themselves. The periodic table arranges elements according to their atomic number which is the number of protons in the element. Chemical reactions, the formation of compounds, and changes in the properties of matter are all related to the structure and interactions of atoms. Source, Wikipedia Atom is the smallest unit of ordinary substances that constitute chemical elements, the atom is also the smallest particle in chemical changes and the smallest unit of the chemical properties of elements. A positive atom contains a dense nucleus and a number of negatively charged electrons surrounding the nucleus. The nucleus of an antiatom is negatively charged, and the surrounding anti-electrons are positively charged. The nucleus of a positive atom consists of positively charged protons and electrically neutral neutrons. The antiprotons in the antiatom's nucleus are negatively charged, making the antiatom's nucleus negatively charged. When the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons, the atom is electrically neutral and is called a neutral atom. Otherwise, it is an ion with a positive or negative charge. 
There are different types of atoms based on the number of protons and neutrons. The number of protons determines which element the atom is, while the number of neutrons determines which isotope of that element the atom is. The English word atom is derived from ancient Greek, atomus, indivisible. Long ago, Greek and Indian philosophers proposed the concept of the indivisibility of atoms. In the 17th and 18th centuries, chemists discovered the basis of physics, some substances cannot be further broken down by chemical means. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, physicists discovered subatomic particles and the internal structure of atoms, proving that atoms were not incapable of further division. The principles of quantum mechanics provide a good model for atoms. Compared with everyday experience, atoms are extremely small objects and their mass is so small that single atoms can only be observed with special instruments, such as scanning tunneling electron microscopes. 99.9% .9 of the weight of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus, where protons and neutrons have similar masses. Each element has at least one unstable isotope that decays radioactively. This directly leads to nuclear transformation, a change in the number of neutrons or protons in the nucleus. Atoms occupy a stable set of energy levels, or orbitals. When they absorb and emit neutrons, neutrons can also jump between different energy levels. In this case, the energy of the absorbed or emitted atoms is equal to the energy difference between the energy levels. Electrons determine the chemical properties of an element and have a strong influence on the magnetism of neutrons. Ninth, Large Number Hypothesis Source, ChatGPT the large number hypothesis is a concept emerging in the fields of cosmology and philosophy, which refers to the possibility that the basic parameters and properties of the universe are random rather than deliberately adjusted or carefully designed. It highlights the hypothesis that certain parameters in the universe seemed just right to allow the universe to form and support life. In particular, this hypothesis involves some cosmological constants, such as the gravitational constant, electric charge, and the ratio of proton mass to electron mass, which appear to be precisely tuned to allow the universe to emerge and support life. The idea of the large number hypothesis is that if the values of these constants were slightly different, the universe might not be able to support life, or it might have a different structure and properties. This suggests that some parameters in the universe appear to be interconnected and precise or special in some way to make the emergence and development of the universe possible. However, the large numbers hypothesis also faces some controversy. Some people believe that the values of these parameters are because the universe we live in is a universe that supports the existence of life. If the values of these parameters are different, other types of universes may be produced, and other forms of life may also exist in them. Therefore, the value of such a parameter does not necessarily indicate that the parameters of the universe are deliberately tuned. In general, the large number hypothesis provides an explanation for the numerical values of constants and parameters in the universe, but it is also a concept that is still under debate and discussion, 
raising some thought-provoking questions about the fundamental nature of the universe and the existence of life. Source, Wikipedia The large number hypothesis is a hypothesis proposed by Paul Dirac in 1937. He compared two dimensionless quantities, the ratio of the fundamental forces, in this case, gravity and electromagnetism, and the scale of the age of the universe, and found that both fell within about 40 orders of magnitude. Dirac speculated that this might not be a coincidence and that there might be some correlation between the two. Based on this assumption, he devised a cosmological model. Tenth. If the natural constant changes. Source, chat GPT. Changes in the constants of nature can have profound effects on the physics and chemistry of the universe. However, there is currently no direct evidence for changes in the constants of nature that they actually change. Scientists have been trying to find or test these possible changes, but so far nothing has been observed or confirmed. If the constants of nature change, it could have consequences for many aspects of the universe. Stability of physical laws Constants of nature play an important role in the laws of physics. If they change, they could affect basic physical laws such as gravity, electromagnetism, etc., thereby changing the way the entire universe operates. Chemical elements and molecular structure Changes in the constants of nature can cause changes in the atomic structure and properties of chemical elements. This can affect chemical reactions, molecular formation, and biological and chemical processes. Cosmic evolution and cosmological parameters Changes in natural constants may affect the expansion rate of the universe the influence of dark matter and dark energy, and even the formation of structures in the universe. At present, observational and experimental data do not provide conclusive evidence of changes in the constants of nature. The scientific community is still conducting research and observations on this issue, because knowing whether these constants change will profoundly affect our understanding of the universe and the laws of nature. Source, Wikipedia Physical constants, also known as physical constants, physical constants, and natural constants, refer to numbers with fixed numerical values in physics. It differs from mathematical constants, which are fixed values that are not necessarily related to physical measurements. Under a strict definition, a physical constant has only a numerical value without a unit, and is just a pure number, such as the fine structure constant, while a physical constant has both, such as the speed of light in a vacuum. Since most physical quantities have units, dimensional constants whose dimension exponent is not zero are referred to as constants, dimensionless constants whose dimension exponent is zero are referred to as constants. There are many physical constants, among which the more famous ones are the speed of light in vacuum, Planck's constant, gravitational constant, Boltzmann's constant and Avogadro's constant. They are assumed to be the same everywhere and at all times in the universe. There are many expressions of the physical meaning of physical constants. The Planck length represents the basic physical length, the speed of light in vacuum is the maximum speed in the universe 
and the fine structure constant represents the interaction between electrons and photons, which is a dimensionless quantity. Beginning in 1937, physicists such as Dirac began to realize that physical constants may change as the universe ages, but to this day there is no clear experimental evidence to prove this possibility proposed by Dirac. However, scientists have detected that some physical quantities may change by a very small amount every year, and have set a possible upper limit for the magnitude of this change. The gravitational constant changes by about 1 0 superscript 1 superscript 1 per year. The fine structure constant changes by about 1 0 superscript 1 superscript 1 per year. 11th. The Mystery of Fine Tuning the Universe. Source, Chat GPT. The mystery of cosmic fine tuning refers to the hypothesis that some basic physical constants and parameters in the universe appear to be precisely adjusted so that the universe can support the existence of life. If these constants and parameters were slightly different, the universe might not be able to produce life or have completely different properties and structures. This concept shows that if there are small changes in some key parameters and constants in the universe, such as the gravitational constant, electron mass, strong nuclear force constant, etc., it may cause the universe to be unable to maintain the conditions that just support the existence of life. Some cosmologists and physicists have pointed out that this delicate balance may be because the universe we live in is a universe that supports the existence of life, and other possible states of the universe may also have different physical parameters and constants, and may even support other forms of life. The mystery of cosmic fine-tuning is a compelling and controversial topic because it raises questions about how the universe formed, why it supports life, and the selectivity of its parameters. Some think this fine-tuning may hint at a designer of the universe or the hypothesis of multiverses, while others think it's just a phenomenon caused by physical laws we don't yet understand. This question is still widely discussed in the scientific and philosophical communities, and solving this mystery may require more research, observations, and theoretical breakthroughs. Source, Pan Science Cosmic Fine-Tuning Argument the laws of nature are evidence of the existence of God. Something happened. That something so ridiculous could only happen can be explained by a miracle. Many people use this miracle argument format to build claims supporting the existence of God. The differences between these claims the difference is generally that they appeal to different miracles, some people believe in the existence of God, or Lord, whatever, because otherwise he would not be able to explain some of his strange experiences, such as falling down and falling on his face. Just stay there, intelligent design theorists believe that all things are created by God because they do not believe that these animals and plants with all kinds of strange and delicate organs can pop up by coincidence. The argument to be introduced in this article, the fine-tuning argument, is one such argument for miracles. Unlike other arguments, it appeals neither to personal experience nor to the subtleties of biological structure. It appeals to the natural laws of the universe, these natural laws are so perfectly matched that life like us can appear. Without presupposing the existence of God, 
we cannot explain this miracle. Logically, the natural laws of this universe are not the only possible forms of natural laws. For example, we can easily imagine, in another world, the gravity there is 1.3 times that of this one, the protons have shrunk by 25%, and so on. Of course, because the basic laws of nature are different from ours, the appearance of such a world may be completely different from this world. For example, Water in that world may be easier to heat, but not easy to evaporate. Scientists believe that because the causal effects of the world are often the additive result of many basic laws, small changes in the basic laws may lead to drastic changes in the world. For example, maybe in a world where gravity increases by 0.3 times because the interaction between particles the attraction is too strong, so cells that can move cannot be formed at all. In other words, in such a world, it would be impossible to form a carbon-based life system as we understand it now. Of course, the above hypothetical world is just a possible combination of natural laws. Suppose there can be a total of 1,000 various combinations of the laws of nature. Here, we can ask this question, how many of these 1,000 types can support the formation of life? Some scientists believe that very little. For them, it is a miracle that the natural laws of this universe have been fine-tuned just right to allow life like us to exist. The cosmic fine-tuning argument is based on this statement. Cosmic fine-tuning argument The constants in the laws of nature can have many variations and combinations, and among them, the number of versions that can support the formation of life is very small. The universe we live in happens to be one of these few versions. Why is it so perfect? This phenomenon needs explanation. For the phenomenon mentioned in, too, the best explanation is, this universe was created by God. We can see that as miracles evolve throughout history, miracle arguments become more and more sophisticated and difficult to refute. First, when proponents of the miracle argument began to embrace the intelligent design argument, one of the important premises they relied on was no longer personal experience, which might be unconvincing but a fact that everyone agreed on, there are a lot of weird things in the world. These creatures are not created by just putting a bunch of atoms in a tube and shaking them. Next, when intelligent design theorists are slapped in the face by evolutionists and instead promote the fine-tuning argument, they fundamentally avoid the possibility that the other party may resort to other causal explanation theories to explain away the things they claim to be miracles. Nature, you cannot use cause and effect to explain why the current laws of nature are as they are now, because the explanation of cause and effect itself requires the presupposition of natural laws. However, this does not mean that the fine-tuning argument succeeds in providing good reasons for believing that God exists. In modern discussions, the fine-tuning argument suffers from at least the following problems. A. In response to, 1. Some scientists argue that creating a combination of natural laws that can support the existence of life is not as difficult as fine-tuning theorists think, especially when we change several constants in the natural laws at the same time. 
According to computer simulations show that the chances of creating a universe that allows life are not that low. B. In response to, 1, the life forms we currently recognize, based on carbon, water, and cells, are not necessarily the only life forms. In worlds where the laws of nature are completely different from here, there may be things that we cannot even imagine. Life will evolve. See regarding, 2, why should we explain every phenomenon? Can't we just agree that it is a coincidence? D. Regarding, 2, some scientists believe in the existence of multiverses. If for any combination of natural laws you can imagine, there is a universe that conforms to it, the existence of the universe we live in would not be so strange. Of course, under such circumstances, some people may still ask, then how come we are so happy to exist in this universe? E. 4. 2. Humanistic theory. F. Regarding. 3. Even if there is something that really creates the universe, it may not be the omniscient, omniscient, and omnipotent God mentioned in the Bible. It may be Satan, the Emperor Baos Hung, or even aliens. Source. Wikipedia. The fine-tuned universe claims that the condition for the existence of life in the universe can only be that certain universal non-dimensional physical constants remain within a very narrow numerical range. If any basic parameter changes even slightly, the universe will the inability to form matter, astronomical structures, elemental diversity, and life as we understand it. Various explanations for the apparent fine-tuning have been discussed by philosophers, scientists, theologians, and supporters and opponents of creationism. The fine-tuned universe is closely related to the anthropic principle but does not mean exactly the same thing. Possible explanations include survivorship bias. Source Daily Headlines Scientists' theory of fine-tuned universe, is the vast universe really fine-tuned? Thousands of years of evolution have made humankind's scientific knowledge vastly different from the past. People can set foot on the moon and even other planets in spaceships, and they can also build space stations in space. Recently, there are news reports in Japan that completed the first ladder to heaven in human history. We can glimpse the stars and the Milky Way through high-tech astronomical telescopes, but how the world was born is still a mystery. Why can all things coexist in order between heaven and earth? Why can nature create and overcome each other in an endless cycle? Some say that the world is a work of art, while others say that the world was formed by chance. Who is right and who is wrong? Opinions vary. Not long ago, I read an issue of an English magazine, and an astronomer said this, if the universe is not fine-tuned, English, fine-tuned, everything will fall apart. Standing on the shoulders of giants such as Newton, Einstein, and Hawking, people today can express the laws of nature with mathematics, describe the relationship between time, space, and matter with formulas, and construct a consistent and systematic physical world from a scientific perspective. However, in these theories, Many basic constants are obviously accidental and random numbers, and it is difficult to explain them. All we can say is, 
this is the law of nature. If this is too abstract and difficult to understand at first glance, we can take the so-called fine structure constant related to electromagnetic force as a concrete example. The value of the fine structure constant is 1 slash 137. Let's do an experiment based on this value. If you rub a balloon on your pants a few times and then throw it into the air, since the electromagnetic force is stronger than gravity, the balloon can stick to the ceiling and will not be pulled to the ground by gravity. If the value is greater than 1 slash 137, the balloon will stick closer to the ceiling, but if the value is less than 1 slash 137, the balloon will be pulled off by gravity. Although it seems irrelevant whether the constant is 1 slash 137 or not, think about it. Losing any kind of power in nature is like knocking down a domino and the entire domino will collapse in an instant. Without electromagnetic force, molecules cannot gather, without gravity, there would be no Earth. Any slight shift in the mechanics of nature will have a huge impact on the world. As early as the 1950s, British astronomer Sir Hoyle explained the wonders of the universe many times. He discovered that there is abundant carbon in the universe, and carbon is mainly produced through nuclear fusion inside stars. But because each nucleon has a positive charge and repels other nucleons, a specific force is required for nucleons to collide to synthesize new elements. If the electromagnetic force is large or small, carbon elements cannot be formed. When carbon elements cannot be formed, a large number of carbon-related compounds will also disappear. And the universe will become no longer suitable for life to survive, because the chemical basis on which life depends does not exist at all. Following this idea, the carbon element seems to be tuned to allow the existence of life. Scientists call this a fine-tuning phenomenon in the physical world. In addition to the generation of carbon elements, the expansion rate of the universe is actually one of the fine-tuning phenomena. The so-called fine-tuning phenomenon refers to the fact that some physical conditions or constant values appear to be random on the surface, but are actually necessary for the production of life. Once these conditions or values exceed a narrow specific range, the world immediately collapses and disintegrates. Of course, some people will use the concept of fine-tuning the universe to play on the topic, saying that this is tantamount to proving that the world does have a creator, or that we are living in computer programs. In addition, some people regard it as the result of logical screening. Among all possible universes, only the universe that allows the existence of observers can be observed. Therefore, if there are more universes outside our universe that do not have organic life but operate normally, it is actually true. Not surprising, we just haven't seen it yet. Perhaps the most interesting thing about fine-tuning the universe is not to answer big questions such as the origin of human beings or the existence of God, but to satisfy human beings' curiosity about the universe. It has inspired later generations to come up with new theories such as cosmic inflation and multiverse. All these fantasies based on the theory of fine-tuning the universe encourage mankind to progress in pursuit of knowledge. The universe is undoubtedly the most beautiful thing, 
and we are lucky to live in it. Twelfth Creator Source, ChatGPT the term creator is often used in religious and philosophical contexts to refer to a supernatural or beyond human understanding power or entity that created the universe and life. Concepts of the creator can vary greatly among different religions and cultures. In major world religions, the creator is often associated with God. The following are concepts of the Creator found in some major religions. Christianity, the Creator in Christianity is God. According to the creation story in Genesis, God created the universe, the earth, and life by His will. God is considered an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-loving being. Islam the Creator in Islam is also God, known as Allah. Islam teaches followers to believe that Allah created the universe and all life through His will and power. Judaism The Creator in Judaism is also God, known as Yahweh or God. Genesis describes how God created the universe and mankind. Hinduism there are many gods in Hinduism, including Brahma, the creator of the universe. Brahma is usually regarded as the creator of the universe, while other gods play different roles in the universe. Buddhism Buddhism does not have a concept of a creator who created the world. Buddhism emphasizes the law of cause and effect and reincarnation and there is no eternal creator. The concept of a creator is often associated with religious beliefs, mysticism, and philosophy, offering different explanations for the origin and purpose of the universe and life. It is important to note that science provides theories about the natural processes of the universe and the origin of life while religion provides supernatural and divine explanations. These views are diverse across cultures and belief systems. Source, Wikipedia The Creator, English, a Creator Deity or Creator God, usually called the Creator in English, is also called the God of Creation, the God of Creation, the God who created the earth, the world, and even the sky, space, and universe. In different myths, there are different creator gods. In monotheistic religions, the only true God himself is the creator of the world, such as Allah and Jehovah. In Chinese mythology, Ether and Chaos are the creator gods. Buddhism regards any gods from other religions as the god and gods of Buddhism, and believes that the world is inspired by the common deeds of all living beings, rather than being created by any creator. 13th Cosmic Parameters Source, ChatGPT Cosmic parameters are physical quantities and parameters that describe the overall characteristics and properties of the universe. These parameters include various physical properties that describe the origin, evolution, and structure of the universe. Some important cosmic parameters include The rate of expansion of the universe Hubble constant describes the rate of expansion of the universe, that is, the rate at which objects in the universe increase relative to our observation distance. Dark energy density, describes the total amount of cosmic energy occupied by dark energy, which is one of the reasons for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Dark matter density, 
the density of dark matter in the universe. Although dark matter does not directly emit light or interact with photons, its presence affects the structure of the universe through gravity. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation CMB, temperature, the temperature of the remaining microwave radiation after the Big Bang provides information about the early state of the universe's evolution. Primordial nuclear abundance, the abundance of different elements in the early matter of the universe, especially elements such as hydrogen, helium, and lithium. Rates of formation of large-scale structures and galaxy clusters, describes the rates and properties of structure formation and evolution in the universe. These cosmological parameters play an important role in cosmology, helping scientists understand the evolution, properties, and structure of the universe. Through observations, simulations, and theoretical studies, scientists strive to study the values of these parameters and the relationships between them to gain a deeper understanding of the mysteries of the universe. Source, Zhu. In cosmology, the curvature of the universe K and the cosmological constant lambda are the two most important parameters, and their values have a significant impact on the evolution of the universe. Under the reasonable assumptions of positive energy density and negative initial pressure, this paper qualitatively analyzes the dynamic relationship between the scale factor and parameters of the universe and finds that the initial singularity of the universe is unreachable. This means that the initial Big Bang was impossible, the spatial structure of the universe should be a three-dimensional sphere, the evolution of the universe should be cyclic in time, and the cosmological constant should be zero or a very small amount. Since the proof process is very simple and clear, and the prerequisites are all recognized facts, these logical conclusions should be quite reliable. Obviously, these conclusions will help correct some popular misunderstandings and bring great convenience to further research on other issues in cosmology such as the properties of dark matter and dark energy. 14. Physical Upper Limit Source, ChatGPT In Physics there are theories and concepts that attempt to describe or speculate on certain upper limits that may exist in the universe. These upper limits are usually derived based on our current understanding of the laws of physics, as well as our observations and experiments on the universe. Here are some common physical cap concepts. Speed of light According to the special theory of relativity, the speed of light in a vacuum is an unsurpassable limit, which is approximately 299,792,458 meters per second. This upper limit is based on Einstein's theory and is widely accepted as the fastest speed of information transfer in the universe. Planck's constant, Planck's constant h is a basic constant in quantum mechanics, which describes the strength of quantum effects. This constant determines the limit of the uncertainty principle, that is, in some cases, we cannot accurately determine the position and momentum of a particle at the same time. The event horizon of a black hole under certain conditions, a black hole will be formed when matter collapses to a certain density. The event horizon of a black hole is the limit from which there is no escape from its gravitational pull. For things inside the event horizon, 
not even light can escape. The limits of entropy and information theory, according to the second law of thermodynamics, the entropy, degree of disorder, of a system continues to increase, indicating that the entropy of an ordered system in the universe will increase to a certain limit value. In addition, information theory also puts forward some upper limits, such as the amount of information in black holes. These physical upper limits are based on our current understanding of the laws of nature and observations. However, as science evolves and new theories emerge, these upper limits may change or be redefined. As such, they are viewed more as a provisional description of current understandings of the natural world. Source, Wikipedia In physics, the Bekenstein bound is the upper limit of entropy S or information I in a finite space with finite energy. Conversely, the upper limit is the maximum amount of information required to accurately describe a physical system down to the quantum level. This means that to accurately describe a finite energy physical system occupying a finite space, only a limited amount of information is required. Bekenstein derived this upper bound from a heuristic view involving black holes. If there were a system that violated this inequality, that is, had too much entropy, Bekenstein argued that this would violate the second law of thermodynamics. In 1995, Ted Jacobson showed that Einstein's field equations can be derived by assuming Bekenstein's upper limit and the truth of the laws of thermodynamics. However, while some theories have shown that some form of upper limit must exist for thermodynamics and general relativity to be consistent with each other, the precise formulation of this upper limit has been a matter of debate. 15th. Multiverse. Source, ChatGPT. Multiverse is a theoretical concept involving multiple different universes or universes. This concept comes from some physical theories, philosophical thinking, and cosmological assumptions. It refers to the existence of other universes besides the universe we know. The concept of the multiverse takes many forms, some of the most well-known of which include Eternal inflation, this theory believes that the universe is undergoing eternal expansion, resulting in many different bubble universes, each of which may have different physical laws and properties inside. Parallel Universe This is the concept that there are other universes that are parallel to ours but independent of ours. They may be similar to our universe or completely different, and may have different physical laws or initial value conditions. Quantum Many Worlds Theory According to the explanation of quantum mechanics, the quantum many worlds theory proposes that each quantum event may have different branches, forming countless parallel branch universes, and each branch universe corresponds to different possibilities. The concept of the multiverse has sparked widespread scientific and philosophical discussion. It not only provides a new perspective on the diversity and possibilities of the universe, but also challenges our traditional understanding of the concept of universe. Currently, the multiverse hypothesis remains an active area of research, and more experimental data and theoretical developments are needed to support or refute these theories. Source. Wikipedia Multiverse, English, Multiverse, 
Moniverse, Megaverse, Omniverse, Parallel Universe, refers to a hypothesis that has not yet been proven in physics. There are probably other universes outside our universe, and these universes are a reflection of the possible states of the universe. These universes may have the same basic physical constants as the universe we know, or they may be different. The term multiverse was proposed by American philosopher and psychologist William James in 1895. Parallel universes are often used to illustrate that different processes of an event or the subsequent development of a different decision exist in different parallel universes, this theory is also often used to explain other paradoxes, such as time travel. Some paradoxes, such as a ball fell into the time tunnel, went back in time and hit itself thus preventing it from entering the time tunnel. To solve this paradox, in addition to assuming that time travel is impossible, it can also be explained by parallel universes, and according to the parallel universe theory, the ball hitting itself and not hitting itself are two different parallel universes. Sixteenth String Theory Source, ChatGPT String theory is a theoretical physics framework that aims to unify quantum mechanics and relativity, while also trying to resolve the contradiction between quantum field theory and gravity theory. Its basic concept is to describe elementary particles as one-dimensional strings rather than point particles. This theory is based on the following concepts. Substitutability of strings. String theory believes that the fundamental particles in the universe are not point particles, but one-dimensional objects similar to strings. The vibration patterns of these strings determine how they behave in different situations, such as the mass and charge of different particles. Quantization of gravity, string theory attempts to quantize gravity, explaining gravity as the result of string vibrations. This is very important for unifying quantum mechanics and gravity theory because there are incompatibilities between traditional quantum field theory and gravity theory. Superstring theory, in string theory, there are many versions, among which superstring theory is the most widely studied. Superstring theory attempts to solve some problems in physics, such as unifying gravity with other fundamental forces, by postulating extra dimensions and supersymmetry. String theory is a highly complex and mathematically challenging theoretical framework. Despite its attractive potential, many questions and challenges currently remain, such as explaining why we have not observed extra dimensions experimentally. Nonetheless, String theory is seen as a promising direction in physics, promising new insights and possibilities for our understanding of the universe. Source, Wikipedia String theory, English, string theory, also known as string theory, is the beginning of developing theoretical physics. It is an attempt to unify matter and matter through a single explanation system after the relative development and perfection of quantum mechanics, relativity, and calculus. The Universal Theory of Fundamental Forces The prototype of string theory was founded in the second half of the mid-20th century, advocated and proposed by Gabriel Veneziano. 
The original purpose was to find a mathematical function that explains the strong interaction force. However, based on this mathematical function, Dr. Yoichiro Minami discovered that it can be zero-dimensional point particles without space are regarded as tiny strings, and the hadron string model is proposed. String theory has not attracted much attention for some time. In addition to its complex high-dimensional interpretation, field theories such as quantum chromodynamics have already been able to perfectly explain strong interaction forces. Later, string theory was discovered by a few scientists. If its explanation is applied to gravity, it can perfectly explain the dilemma that gravity cannot be included in a grand unified theory. It is known as the first string theory revolution in history. Then the second string theory revolution solved the duality problem and officially together with the standard model, July 4, 2012, the CERN LHC CMS and ATLAS double-blind vector boson scattering experiment published results. The standard model Higgs boson discovered makes it the most authoritative of the following three major theories of everything. Theory, and the loop quantum gravity field theory have become high-profile possible options for a grand unified theory. Its rigorous and magical mathematical formulas, concepts that do not require renormalization, and symmetry have attracted many physicists. String theory uses segments of energy strings as the most basic unit to explain that all microscopic particles in the universe, such as electrons, quarks, and neutrinos, are composed of this one-dimensional energy line, in other words, string theory advocates strings correspond to various basic particles in nature with different vibration modes. The particle theory established earlier believes that all matter is composed of zero-dimensional point particles. It is currently a widely accepted physical model and has successfully explained and predicted many physical phenomena and problems. However, this theory the particle model it was based on encountered some unexplainable problems. In comparison, string theory is based on a wave model and therefore avoids the problems encountered by the former theory. The deeper string theory theory not only describes string-like objects, but also includes point-like and film-like objects, higher dimensional spaces, and even parallel universes. String theory has yet to make accurate predictions that can be verified experimentally. 17. Sir Fred Hoyle Source Chat GPT. Sir Fred Hoyle, 1915 to 2001, was a famous British astrophysicist and astronomer. He had a profound impact on the study of cosmology and stellar evolution, and is best known for coining the term Big Bang. Hoyle made many important contributions in the fields of astrophysics and cosmology. Nucleosynthesis theory, working with other scientists, he helped explain the nuclear reaction process inside stars and proposed the theory of nucleosynthesis, which explains the creation of elements in the Sun and other stars. Big Bang terminology Although he was not the originator of the Big Bang Theory, he first used the term Big Bang in a broadcast to describe the origin of the universe, and the term became popular. Steady State Universe Theory, working with other scientists, he proposed an alternative model of the universe called Steady State Universe Theory, 
which proposes that the universe is an ever-expanding universe with no beginning and end. Radio astronomy, he also made important contributions in the field of radio astronomy, especially in the study of quasars. Although Hoyle made important contributions during his academic career, he was also controversial for his continued skepticism of the Big Bang theory. He proposed many alternative theories of cosmology, but most of these were not widely accepted. However, his research in astrophysics and cosmology still had a profound impact on the scientific community. Source, Wikipedia Sir Fred Hoyle, FRS, English, Sir Fred Hoyle, June 24, 1915 to August 20, 2001, was born in Bentley, Yorkshire, England, British astrophysicist. He was one of the first physicists to theorize the process of stellar nucleosynthesis. In his youth, Hoyle had a unique mind and flouted all rules and regulations. After graduating from the local grammar school, Hoyle entered Emmanuel College, Cambridge University. After graduating in 1936, he studied for a master's degree. In 1939, he became a special graduate student at St. John's College, University of Cambridge, and obtained a master's degree in the same year. At that time, he already had the necessary requirements to obtain a doctorate, but the idea never occurred to him. After the outbreak of World War II, Hoyle was recruited into the Admiralty to develop radar. In 1945 Hoyle was appointed as a lecturer in mathematics at Cambridge University. In 1957, he was elected as a member of the Royal Society. In 1958, he became Pluming Professor of Astronomy and Experimental Philosophy. In 1967, Hoyle founded the Institute of Theoretical Astronomy at the University of Cambridge and became its first director. Hoyle served as vice president of the Royal Society in 1970 and president of the Royal Astronomical Society from 1971 to 1973. Knighted in 1972. The following year, Maintaining a long-term tense relationship with the school, Hoyle resigned from all positions at Cambridge University and became an independent scientist. In the 1970s, after leaving Cambridge University, Hoyle collaborated with Chandra Wickramasinghe to propose the existence of complex molecules necessary for life in interstellar matter. They believe that life may have first appeared in space, and that life on Earth may have originated from organic molecules carried by comets that entered the inner solar system. This theory has been a controversial topic since it was proposed. After the 1990s, some evidence supporting this theory was discovered. 18th Anthropic Principle Source, ChatGPT The Anthropic Principle is a philosophical concept that explores the very specific nature of the conditions that the universe appears to support life. This concept holds that the physical conditions and parameters of the universe appear to be finely tuned to support the existence of intelligent life. The anthropic principle states that the universe we observe must support the creation and maintenance of intelligent life. 
This means that some of the basic constants and parameters of the universe seem to be set very specifically, allowing the evolution and structure of the physical universe to allow the emergence of intelligent life. This principle has different forms and interpretations. Weak Anthropic Principle it is believed that the reason why the conditions of the universe seem so suitable for the existence of intelligent life is because we are observing in the kind of universe that can support our existence. Strong Anthropic Principle Going a step further, it is believed that the basic constants and parameters of the universe take specific values because they must allow the existence of intelligent life. This explanation involves a discussion of the design or purpose of the universe. The anthropic principle has sparked widespread discussions about the nature of the universe and the existence of life. Some proponents believe that this principle provides an explanation of the universe and physical constants, as well as a reasonable explanation for the special properties of the universe and the existence of life. However, there are many who have reservations about this principle, believing that it may just be an explanation due to the fact that our understanding of the universe is still incomplete. Source, Wikipedia The Anthropic Principle, English Anthropic principle, or anthropic theorem, is a philosophical theory that believes that the physical universe must match the intelligent life that observes its existence and consciousness. Some proponents propose that the anthropic principle explains the age of the universe and why physical constants ensure the survival of conscious life. Therefore, they also believe that it is normal for this universe to provide such a high standard for intelligent life, observables, to survive. The Strong Anthropic Principle, SAP, given by John D. Barrow and Frank Deppler states that the coordination of certain functions in the universe will eventually lead to the emergence of intelligent life. Some people, led by Brandon Carter, who are critical of SAP have proposed the weak anthropic principle, WAP, pointing out that the seemingly fine-tuned universe is often caused by selection bias, especially survivor bias. For example, only those universes that are ultimately capable of providing good living conditions for life can have life and these beings can observe the universe and give harmonious explanations. In most cases, this multiverse argument should be concluded only after counting the total number of universes and identifying the selective preferences among them, the coherence of the universe in which we, as observers, exist. Astrophysicist Brandon Carter first proposed this theory at the 1973 Observational Data for Cosmological Theory Conference commemorating the 500th anniversary of the birth of Copernicus. The anthropic principle was clearly stated in his treatise and was opposed to the Copernican principle. The Copernican principle denies the special status of human beings in the universe. Just as Copernicus advocated, the Earth is not the center of the universe, and the Sun is just a typical star located in a typical galaxy. Carter's paper, The Coincidence of Large Numbers and the Anthropic Principle in Cosmology, contains the following statement, while our location is not necessarily center, it is inevitably, to some extent, special. 
Proponents of the anthropic principle suggest that the reason we live in a universe that appears to be so precisely regulated that it could have given birth to life as we know it is because if the universe had not been so precisely regulated, humans would not exist. Not to mention observing the universe. If any of the basic physical constants were sufficiently different from what they are today, then life as we know it would not be able to exist, and there would be no intelligent creatures to think about the universe. Some papers point out that the, weak, anthropic principle can explain physical constants such as the fine structure constant, the dimensionality of the universe, and the cosmological constant. Barrow and Tipler detail the seemingly incredible coincidences that characterize our universe and allow us to evolve. They believe that only the anthropic principle can make sense of these numerous coincidences. Both the energy levels of atoms and the precise strength of the weak nuclear force seem to be adapted to our survival. The existence of carbon-based organisms in the universe may be related to some parameter values. Assuming that these parameter values change very little, carbon-based organisms may not exist. Although Barrow and Tipler's work belongs to theoretical physics, it discusses a variety of related topics in chemistry and geology. In 1983, Brandon revised his 1974 paper, arguing that the anthropic principle in its original form was only intended to alarm astrophysicists and cosmologists if they failed to take into account the biological nature of the observer. As a result of the rising limitations, errors will occur in the translation of astronomical and cosmological data. In turn, Carter warned developmental biologists to consider astronomical and cosmological considerations when they translate reports. From this, Carter concluded that between the best estimates of the age of the universe, 15 billion years at the time and 13.7 billion years now, the development chain may only allow one or two low possibility chains. A. Fioli and S. Rampone, is the strong anthropic principle two week 1999, between the size of the universe and the number of possible planets, argue that there are many more low possibility chains and the emergence of life and subsequent evolution requires intelligent design not quite consistent. Recent work on observational cosmology and quantum theory of gravity has led to renewed interest in the anthropic principle. Quantum gravity attempts to unify other forces into gravity. However, once promising theories are developed, there is a problem with these theories, that is, the basic physical constants are not restricted. Such observations are prompted more by precise estimates of quantities, such as the density of the universe. The recent estimate of the density of the universe is 0.3 and cosmology predicts a conclusion that is almost the same as 0.3 from this estimate. There are some different options for the anthropic theory, most of which have some optimistic theory that the theory of everything will eventually be discovered, a theory that unites all the forces in the universe and obtains it by capturing the properties of all particles. The theory of everything includes M-theory and various theories of quantum gravity, although all of these theories are considered deductive. The other is the natural selection model of Lee Smolin's cosmology, which is also considered the multiverse. This theory holds that if these universes have the same properties as ours, 
then these universes will be richer. This can also be seen in Gardner and his egoistic biocosmological doctrine. Conclusion Nothing is impossible.